<laughs> it's so pretty. I love it. begin fine-tuning things out here I am measuring out where the beds are gonna go and I'm filling in some of the low spots with the extra mulch that we have and this mulch is really good it's it's a good size wood chips and in some of the loads that we got there was a good amount of leaves in it so we have layers of leaf mold even mixed in with the wood chips in certain areas what this is going to do is create the foundation of a perfect garden so i'm lining my garden pathway up with this doorway behind me. This is my she shed where I do my seed starting. So it's just a nice focal point for me when I'm walking out to the garden. I'm eventually gonna have all of my garden tools in here. So lining it up, I want my middle walkway to be big enough for the biggest wheelbarrow we have so that we can bring in loads of soil or mulch whenever we need to. And these cedar beds are going to be built on their sides so we'll fill those with compost right on top of the wood chips it's basically like a modified hugel culture meets back to eden raised bed design and i think it's going to work out really well for us we have the more shady side of the garden that if in the future we want to build some raised beds in this area for things like lettuce and kale <laughs> it is so hot out that the boys taken their shirts off and have decided to start spraying each other with the hose. Fun times. It's about 76 degrees, but it feels like 80. <laughs> All right, and then on this side of the garden beds, we have an additional area that's mulched. So we can also grow and expand our garden beds on that side as we get more ability to do so. But starting out with some basic shallow raised beds i prefer to do at least a foot raised bed up to two feet is my preferred because it's easy to sit on the edge of the bed and garden but for now i only have a little bit of wood so i'm going to use what i have and make it work so i'm going to continue filling in mulch over there so i'm collecting it from there putting it over there and making that edge deeper so that we can have raised beds continuing along that way Making good progress. Like I always say, there's no one right way to garden. Use the resources you have, build the best foundation you can have, and by all means, getting the best soil is the best thing you can do. So this week we are getting a whole entire truckload, 15 yards of organic compost dropped off. So we gotta get these beds put together and ready to start shoveling because we gotta fill them all by hand. <laughs> Does anybody else have a rooster that makes chicken egg laying sounds all the time? Weirdo. Wow, Ryan, you are working at it today, aren't you? I'm trying to. What do you got going on? Reusing some old lumber, salvaged, and creating raised beds out of it. Screwing them together, making rectangles. That's pretty simple, right? Pretty simple and very effective. Yay, and Odin's your helper? Odin's my helper. He's a good helper. Liam, are you helping Dada? Good job. It's pretty simple construction, basic, basic, basic. This is just using what we have, getting it to the place where we can put some garden beds in. So we'll have all of these filled with compost. The compost will break down 
the wood chips below it. The wood chips are a foot thick. So we have a very good foundation for a new garden. One of the things I have struggled with as a gardener that's recently moved is anytime you start a new garden area, your biggest battle is going to be the weeds. And last year was just a nightmare. I literally gave up gardening because the weeds took over it all. So this year, I'm hoping that this is gonna be an amazing adventure for us. Wow, it is starting to look like a garden over here. What? We have garden beds, guys. Got six made so far. We got a little bit of extra work on the other ones. Yeah, I just need to cut some more end pieces, but yeah, we're, we're getting close. Awesome. Look at that, y'all. It is. It's so pretty. I love it. It has been a while since I've been able to have a garden that was built to my standards and to what I wanted. And this is the first time in probably 10 years that I'm actually going to be able to do a garden the way that I have been able to do it in my profession as a professional gardener for other people. This will be the first time that I'm really applying all of the skills that I have to my own garden because I actually had the materials and resources that I needed to do it. In the past, I never could get mulch. I waited 10 years before Chip Drop finally dropped off mulch and it was when we moved here. I never could afford to buy the wood for raised beds, so I just built mounded beds. Well, this wood was gifted to us for free as well. And the compost that we're going to be getting is also a gift. We are truly, truly blessed. This arbor is even a gift from the most kind, loving supporter that we've ever had. So I am excited to get this all looking gorgeous, just the way you guys have always heard I could do. But now I'm going to show you. All right, we have all of the beds put together now and I'm standing back against the house at my kitchen window so that I can see what the view is like to see if we have the beds lined up correctly. Looks like we've got it done well. So I lined up the beds going down the center. I used my measuring tape on both sides as like a nice line to go by. <laughs> And then any that were di different lengths, I graduated down in size on the ends so it wouldn't be nerve wracking. <laughs> believe it or not, sometimes, <coughs> believe it or not, sometimes I get a little bit OCD about my lines. I like things to be really symmetrical most of the time, but then other times I love complete chaos. So I'm a little mix of both. All right, Ryan, you be careful on there. We are limbing up these cedars next to the garden to give a little bit more light on this side of the garden. It's still going to be a shadier side, so we will plant accordingly. Odin, you are quite possibly the best helper I've got. What you doing? Huh? <laughs> you had to put on your work glove? It's hard to get on, it's so big. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you gonna go play with the kitty? Oh, you fell down and got dirt on your hand. Wipe it off. Wipe your hand. Just wipe it. Just wipe it. That's some dark dirt. That's soil. <laughs> <laughs> 